All right, we have got our opponents. I have to face Pawn Iron Wolf and Lost Galaxy Gamer. And we are in the second division, so unless I get some crazy points, I'm probably going to be stuck in the second division. So uh, hopefully I can make some good points and uh, at least not get put back into third division. In the first division, we have uh, Polywhirl and Panzergraph. Second division, Pawn Iron Wolf, myself, and Lost Galaxy Gamer. And in the third division, we have Stealth and Yulari. So, uh, let's go ahead and check out basically these. We have these for Pawn Iron Wolf ship 25 kilometers, clear day, and three ships. And Lost Galaxy Gamer 10 kilometers, stormy night, and four ships. He has Japanese, and he has United States. Okay, let's go ahead and see what I can do. I myself having, let's see, I have three ships, cloudy evening, 20 kilometers, but that doesn't really matter. Obviously, that is just for Pawn Iron Wolf and Lost Galaxy Gamer to figure out. So, let's switch on over. So, let's see. Uh, I have my three battleships, and I'll determine the range based off of which one I choose. Uh, I've been told to not look into the enemy ships in the designers, so I'm going to look at my own, but not theirs. And I looked at theirs, not one bit. Here's mine, the Brazilian number five. I was going to go for a heavily armored battleship, but I came to quickly- Okay, also this is a very interesting 4 bell uh, aft deck, 0 inches, that's kind of interesting. Hopefully that's the uh, main deck and main belts and all the Citadel armor actually pays off in the end. Uh, may or may not, it's a big gamble. I need to save white somewhere though, because I wanted the maximum speed. So nothing should be able to run away from me, because maximum speed for battleships is 35 knots. Standard bulkheads is not amazing, but again, I really needed to save um, space. Cram quarters, because if I can somehow... 80% crew is probably... You know, it's just impossible to get to. So, hopefully, and by the time we get there, hopefully 6 20-inch guns will be able to obliterate any ship with a ton of pen. I don't think that you can physically armor up past 30. So these things can pen reliably. This is 165% check everyone should have around 165 not exactly so reliably around 20 kilometers and that's assuming citadel is pretty much nothing so yeah hopefully and if they have even less armor then yeah then we can like 20 inches like i have then we can pen all the way out to 30 kilometers so that's what i'm hoping for so i went with the light shells and two powder because the penetration is still really good plus gives us a reload second of less than 40 seconds for 20 inch guns and a range 45 kilometers. Yeah, have fun getting away from this ship. So it's kind of a glass cannon in a little bit of a sense. It's like got a totally armored citadel, but everything else is just paper thin. Literally, actually no, it's, it's less than paper. It's zero. It's literally just zero. So that's what I have. Let's face, let's see. Who do I choose? Do I go with the US or the Japanese? Now, in all of my research looking at holes, I think US is probably going to be easier. I feel like Japanese is going to be a lot more gamey. But then again, I remember fighting Lost Galaxy Gamer ships usually were a little bit easier. So it's kind of a matter of, do I take the safe bet on like the US battleship design, which usually can't do a whole lot in terms of hull design because the hull is all weird, or we're taking the Japanese battleship, which I know can have, it has a lot more potential. Be a good battleship, but uh, Lost Galaxy Gamer usually makes his ships more, I guess, like uh, interestingly, where I can usually find a way to game it when the AI takes control of it. Hmm, let's just go with the US, I think. We're gonna go with the US, I'm gonna be a little bit interesting. Let's tag it back over. So, let's find the US. There it is, three battleships, I believe. And let me actually double, triple check. Clear day, three ships, 25 kilometers. Okay. Okay, I do like that the heavy range. Because getting close and personal kind of defeats the purpose of having any armor, so I like this. Clear day, sure designs always, US, 3v3. A lot more even as well. All right, let's go ahead and launch. Let's do this. Let's see what he built. All right. Let's see. Looks pretty standard. Let's go check these bad boys out in the battle. It's the main 20 inch guns. That's what I figured. Everyone's going to go 20s. He has half as many guns as I do. He has way more range and penetration. Yeah, he's going to pen me. 
He is going to pen me. If he hits me, he'll pen me. Not a lot I can do about that. That's why I'm hoping my speed is going to keep me alive. Armor? Not even 20 inches. Okay, so we can pen him. So at this point, the only thing that really matters is the fact that we have more guns. We get more guns on targets. We get more hits. Because we can both pen each other. I discovered that a long time ago that uh, you physically cannot armor up enough. So you have to go for um, basically more guns instead of more armor. In 1950, it is physically impossible to armor up enough. So, let's uh, get our guns on targets. Okay, this turning is going to be a bit annoying. Let's stabilize. Accuracy's looking good. Their accuracy's looking just about the same, but we have more guns and a flooding head. They're all going to target one of the ships, while I'm going to target all of their ships. I'm going to turn a little bit. Are they running away from me? Are they running away from me? They are running away from me. They can't, though. I have the speed. I believe I gave myself increased shells. Did I? Yes, I did give myself increased shells. I should hopefully be able to at least outpace them in ammo. I got way more ammo than they do. I can keep this way longer. Also, this is extremely loud. There we go. I don't know. I mean, I probably turned down the volume in post, but uh, geez, it's very loud. Trust me, folks. Very, very loud. Not really getting any pens at the moment. Are they kind of coming back towards me? Yeah, kind of. All right. Accuracy, we're at 27-ish kilometers. We don't really have the accuracy I would like, and they have, well, roughly the same accuracy. There we go. It's another flooding hit. That's what I thought. More guns is just better in this case. There we go. We've closed back in now, down to less than the original starting range, which is perfect. Everything's going to slow down again, which is probably not ideal, but oh well, what are you going to do about it? I do have pretty decent turning circles, so I can go pretty much just straight in if I wanted to. Maybe not straight in, but pretty decently. And there we go, another flooding hit. Lots of good hits. Are they just... Is they coming towards me, or is this a formation change? I'm really sure how to think about this. What are you guys all targeting? All weird stuff, okay. Let's see, five, you can go ahead, and this guy is actually pretty close to you. You know, go ahead and turn away a little bit. I think if we get into like a proper, a proper duel, a proper fight, they don't seem to be penning me, and I seem to be penning them. Yeah, we can pen these bad boys easily. How about them, can they pen me? Yeah, they can pen me. They just haven't really hit me yet. I've either gotten really lucky or I designed these ships really good. Alright. We're taking the main apart. Alabama's already pretty much dead and so is the, the Bainbridge. They do have secondary guns, which can pen me, or four and aft, but, uh... Looks like they haven't so far. My ships are almost basically untouched. Main's gone. Are they running away from me? No, they're not. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and come towards them, then. Oh, there you go, that's a finally a pen, short of main gun. That shouldn't be a flash fire. Hopefully. Hopefully indeed. Some more pens. Let's get a quick little little photo off with the boys. Pause and get in real nice and close. Look at these bad boys. Isn't this so threatening? Like if you come across a battleship like this, like what are you gonna do? That's 12 20 inch guns. Like what do you do? What do you do against this thing? Let, let me let me tell you what you do. You die. Also, chances are if you're watching this, you're probably not subscribed. So please subscribe. It's free. Helps me out a whole lot. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it.
Actually, before these guys die, let me go ahead and quickly take a look at them, because I don't really... I'm quite taking a proper look at these, besides the armor. The armor is kind of sad, I'm not going to lie, but I guess he probably got the same memo where you can't really armor up against 20s, even if you tried. You go for angling, but yeah, no, nothing else really. Uh, let's see, a modern 2 armor, I mean, super heavy shells. Okay, so he went really big shells, so if he got a really good, like, like deck pen or a like main deck pen or main belt pen, it would be pretty much over. Yeah, but he went he went all of them on guns. All of them on guns. I suppose it's pretty destructible. It's what I did too. The difference is he went with bigger, more like a uh, well better, less guns, and I went with more decent guns. Unfortunately, when it comes to this, it's uh it just doesn't cut it to have slightly better like maybe if there are twenty point nines and or if maybe they could just get a single hit. Yeah, Bainbridge is basically dead. Find it's a lot easier to turn with the uh, the rudder, because if I do the click thing, he, then the ship like maneuvers around a little bit. Yeah, holy jeez. All right, I made a really good ship. I'm glad I did all that testing. By the way, if you guys haven't watched my test videos yet, go watch them. I mean, that's how I came up with this idea. Originally, I was gonna go for like a super heavily armored Russian battleship, but I uh, decided it'd probably be better to um, to do fast, speedy boys, so it's harder to hit since you just physically cannot armor up against anything. There's one ship left, and I still have enough AP. Because I went increased AP. Did they run out of AP? No, they're close though. Destroyed funnel, that means they'll go even slower. They're throwing 19 knots. Compared to us doing a 32.8. Those open for speed is king at the moment. Another funnel just actually that might be the same funnel destroyed. Yeah, it's the same one. Flooding, that'll slow her down even more. 18.6 knots. At this point, we're just chasing her. We've already sank her sisters, there's not a lot she can do. The only reason she's still alive is probably because angle. I see it's probably this ship's ability to hit the most well. Oh, actually, a couple flooding hits. That's the whole ship flooded. You might go down to flooding. And the whole thing's flooded. She does have anti-flood three though. Still, oh, no, it didn't matter. Structural integrity. All right. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. That was Iron Wolves, the United States 1915 main battleships. And that was a complete sweep. Complete sweep. I really hope that my AI is actually going to do the same in terms of uh, sweeping. Okay. So now is Lost Galaxy who was Jap. And four battleships at 10 kilometers. Now, the only thing I can think of is either he went crazy HE spam or torpedo at the wazoo. Um, either way, I'm going to immediately turn away and just run. Yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. Let's let's go ahead and launch the battle and see what he designed for us. All right. Let's see, he did... I see two big guns, so I'm assuming a lot of torpedoes are secondaries, maybe? Okay, we melee fire. What do they do? 20.9s? I see torpedoes, I see secondaries. Did I do torpedo protection or no? I did warp protection. Where do I see that? Double hole bottom, or no, single hole bottom. And then, do I not have torp protection? Do I not? Uh-oh. <laughs> That might not be good. Please tell me I'm facing away. Nope, I'm facing directly toward him. Okay. Let's have it. Also, that's kind of a cool photo. Everyone's opening fire. Look at that. This little pretty Italian ship. And let's immediately turn away. Because I believe I have the advantage of range. So we're going to take these guys. We're going to detach them. I'm going to just immediately circle around and leave. I don't want to have none of this. Do I circle around this way? I should just probably circle around the other way, actually. Circle around the other way. And then let's also turn off these buttons. There we go. That should be pretty good. 
And again, I want to I want to look at these ships over here exactly. So 24 nines. What can they do? They actually, have less range and pen. Oh, they have no pen. They have literally no pen. I don't think they can actually pen me. Because of the guns, I don't have to worry about. 8.9s, I doubt they're going to do anything to me. I can fire forts. Yeah, they're, they're just useless. Torpedoes. Oh, geez, sorry. Voice crack. There we go. 3.49s have, like, no range. So as soon as I get out of range, they're just... It's over. 25 knots? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run out of range. Instantly. But these things are more useless. The torpedoes are the only things that might be an issue. They're probably going to instantly fire torpedoes. I mean, they have really good range. I'm hoping that if I turn if I turn this way, they're actually going to have a really easy time torpedoing me. If I turn this way, it might be a little better. Okay, I'm going to turn this way then. Now I've changed my mind three times. All right, now let's actually go for this. Everyone turn away before they torpedo us. They've already torpedoed us. Keep turning. Lots of damage, but that's okay. I can deal with it. A couple pens, it's okay. And now that we're turned away, now guess what? You continue to go straight away. Oh, you don't turn very well. Oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. Okay, well anyways. Uh, yeah, you guys just continue going straight away. Turn, turn, stop, 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 stop. I did not realize they're gonna overturn so much. Well, Molly, you guys overturned incredibly much. An, in an insane amount of, uh, and like, turning bad. Oh, jeez, okay. I can, you are probably safe, you are not. Unless you can turn quick, you're gonna take a lot of torpedoes. Yeah, four torpedoes. She's instantly dead. I have no torpedo protection. Okay. All right, fair, you know, that's fair. Oh, jeez, this ship is also pretty much dead too. Jeez, my ships died so quickly. Cause I like got all of my range gone. All right, you know what? Good job, Lost Galaxy Gamer. I thought those twenties wouldn't do no damage to me, but um, oh no, you did get torpedoed. They both got torpedoes. And then this one didn't get torpedoed at all. Just a ton of structural damage from partial pens. Oh, I think that's probably the play. All right. Grossly five. Took another torpedo. Oh, she's dead. Yeah, she's dead. Whoops. I did not see that torpedo, but, um... Once I get to range, I should be good to go. Do they have accuracy at range? Not really. Plus, they only have so many guns. I still technically outgun them, I think. Because they only have two 20s per side, right? Oh, dang. That one's already taking a ton of damage. What the hell? I didn't even realize. Holy jeez, you took so much damage. Where did that damage come from? Dang, all right. The damage is insane. I will admit, the damage is insane. Okay. Holy jeez. That was uh, very interesting. Very interesting. I still outrun them. Do I? Not really. Actually, I barely have more speed than them now. My speed advantage is all gone. I have opened up the range though. Maybe it's because I'm getting pens. There's zero inches of armor. I'm going to turn. I'm going to open up on... Hold on. What am I going to open up on? That's probably good. Yeah, that's probably a good one. Let's at least sink a couple of ships. Before I go down. Oh, jeez. Immediately take a ton of flooding. What is it? All? Main deck? Seriously. I'm getting pen to the main deck. Don't hit me. Do not hit me. Okay. Thank you. Please let me open up with my guns. No, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Open fire. Oh god, it might be over. If I can fire again. Do they have, they have quicker reload than I do? That's crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go down the structural. There's the flooding that I've wanted. I'm very glad I took on... I'm so incredibly glad I took on Iron Wolves first. This would have been a disaster. Holy jeez. All right. You know what, Lost Galaxy Gamer? I congratulate you. You destroyed my ships. Absolutely wrecked me. All I did was slightly medium damage. All right. You know what? Congratulations. Congratulations. 
I guess that's probably what I get for uh, having zero inches four and a half, but that's okay. That is okay. All right, well, I guess that's all. Uh, let's go check out their ships and the actual designer now. Yeah, the Jira design. So let's check out Mr. Lost Galaxy Gamers first. He had very short barreled 20.9s, which I guess did so much damage. I'm assuming super heavy. No lights. Wait, what the heck? I'm so confused. Increased shells, even the 10 kilometers. I mean, the torpedoes probably did a lot of the damage because I had no torpedo protection whatsoever. Increased torpedoes. Gen 3. Oh yeah, you were you were armored at the wazoo. If I had been able to get away, like I'm hoping that at the 20 kilometers I've set, plus with the bad weather, I probably should have set it to slightly better weather, but I'm thinking that um, my ship should be able to shoot this thing from range. Now hopefully avoid the torpedoes, but that turning circle is really bad on my ship, so hopefully they can at least outrun it a little bit. Maximum torpedo or bulkheads being dropped is maxed out. Yeah, this thing's supposed to absorb damage. Which it would have died eventually. The problem is I died quicker. Okay, and everything is a 0.9. And everything is those really long barrels except for the main guns. Interesting. Semi. Oh, you did just go for damage, didn't you? Yeah, he went straight just for damage. He's like, if a 24.9 hits, even if it's a partial, it does a ton of structural. A ton. I didn't. It didn't really help much that uh, I had zero inches on the on the on the aft. The, yeah. Let's check out the others. Oh, here's mine again. Yay. Beautiful ship. Didn't quite win all the battles, but that's okay. Here's my first ship, actually. I had a couple of 16.9s. I was trying to get like very small, but really good guns just to get some good armor. As you can see, it kind of maxed out, but I was like, it doesn't really matter. I mean, because they, they can still pen this. If a 16 point like nine inch gun can pen that at like 20 kilometers, then a 20 inch gun is gonna have no issue. So that was kind of the main issue with this type of build. And here's the main. There's a very standard US ship with 20 inch guns, obviously. Is that extended barrels? That does look like extended a little bit. Then there's some eight inch guns that didn't really do squat. Though if I had hit my, my four or aft, I would have been killed. I think this ship actually could have also taken out my ships. I just got extremely lucky. I think the 25 starting range was really good for me. And I'm starting to think against Lost Galaxy Gamers ship since it did so good close range. I'm thinking putting the cloudy in the evening that I did. I'll switch back really quick. I require cloudy in the evening. The, he actually might kill these ships because they have really good, like against his ships at range, it would probably easily kill it, but uh, not at range. I'm probably gonna get obliterated. But you're just gonna go see that for yourself. Let me go and find where did it go? Not that one. That one. Yep. I'm just gonna... Nope, not like that. Like that. Okay, there we go. Now I can do my outro. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to go check out everyone else's videos. I'm sure they did great. Check out, and I do mean everyone. Not just the people that I fought, but everybody. I, they all deserve views. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next week of Shipyard Champions. And thanks for tuning in to the Admiral Olympics. Bye-bye.